Yeah! What? This is the K-pop cast, and in this episode, we're doing a deep dive into the Black Label's very first girl group, Meow, and their debut song, Meow. We also share some hit replays from BTS's RM and Megan Thee Stallion, Baekhyun and Zykers. And the Megan Thee Stallion song is a banger and suggestive. And we talk about the really power fun. of Megan's ass in the video. Yes. That's pretty fun. Ah. Ah. Hey. But before we get into those topics, don't forget to join the K-pop cast listener fam on Slack and help chip in for our editing costs. Links to those in the episode description. Big thanks to Lady Senza for chipping in with a $15 subscription. We will shout you out if you join her. And now for our hit replays. I'm your PD and Michaela. I'm Stephanie. And I'm DJ Peter Lowe. And Hit Replays are K-pop song recommendations for the episode. So kick us off, Stephanie. What's your Hit Replay for this episode? So just in time for early Halloween, my Hit Replay is Psycho's Witchy or Witch. <laughs> So Psychas is a group that debuted two years ago, 2022, under KQ Fellas, same label as ATs. They're kind of the baby brother group to ATs. And I really enjoy how this group plays off of irreverent, uh, horror, thrilling themes in their videos and like joke about it. Um, it's, it's pretty creative. Nobody else is doing that. And the reason why this song is a hit replay for me is it just... It takes that creativity, not only in the concept and the visuals, but also in the choreography. If you see the live performance, they make these really cool formations where it looks like an arm is coming out of nowhere, floating, or like a member seems to be floating in thin air or is dragged away. So they're just going hard on the on the horror theme optical illusions and the song has like a deep bass i really enjoy the beat i feel like the concept of this one is a crossover between the jabberwockies <laughs> and yes. uh the mask from scream i'm with you yeah <laughs> and the the schoolboy outfits and like the apparel from like harry potter yeah. <laughs> like magic and mischief student apparel uh -huh. like Jump yep. walking is all messed up together. Yeah. yeah. It works. I like it. I, it digs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I work. Yay. I can get behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Sekers, Sekers has been a win. I also, I, I compared their like level of spooky to kind of like Disney Halloween Town spooky kind of. Like it's not oh, yeah. like super scary, but it's like, you know, ghosty. <laughs> They're joking about being scary. Yeah. yeah. All right. So next up we have Peter. What's your hit replay? So my hit replay is the highly suggestive anime pinball crossover song, Never Play, by the Megan Thee Stallion, featuring RM, a BTS. Have you heard of that group? Do you know BTS? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Let them know we on the way. Counting zeros every day. You know that we never play. So if you didn't already know, RM uh, is a rapper and songwriter. He's the leader of uh, Lida. the other group, BTS. Uh, he had his own mixtape in 2015 called, uh, what was it? RM, self-titled RM. RM. And then he had a second one, Mono, in 2018. Um, mm -hmm. And he's done a lot of stuff with like Western artists. Like, in, and then his, his full album, Indigo. Right. 2022. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is like the next seven. I think, you know, how Jungkook had, had his thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Like I, this song is, is going to be popular for sure. And I really like it just because the, the lyrics are very strong. I think for all parties involved, it's really fun, really irreverent. It's very self-aware. It's very campy. Um, you mm. know, Megan the Stallion being herself and her character and her anime form. And yeah. uh, it's got all the very perhaps obvious 
like penis and <laughs> oh. <laughs> genitalia references, like yeah. visually shown in the song. And um, also with, like RM, you know, owns up to being like an Asian man, Asian guy and that being a cool thing. Mm-hmm. So for yeah, all those says, reasons, it's a hit He replay. paves the way for Asian men, right? Uh, that's right. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Strong words. Yeah. Move over tableau. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. I would love if this were played at a party in a club. I would just be dropping it low. Hey, 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 hey. Like what what BPM do you think that beat is? It's a bit fast. Oh, I need to check. Yeah. I'm into it. And Megan's booty just looks like a red balloon. I, I thought it was funny how, it's like, really at one point in the anime version, she's just twerking. It's like shooting. Yes. <laughs> off of her. Yes. But, I really uh, liked um, JRE's reaction to that part. He was like, the power of ass. <laughs> it, just, it just blows people, the enemies away. <laughs> yeah. No, so I mean, she, she, she knows what the character is. And, like, you know, she's, she's really hamming it up. And, like, you know, I, I live for it just because it's, like, unapologetically, you know, Megan Thee Stallion. It's not the first time that they've collaborated together, right, Stephanie? This is the, the second time that she's collaborated yep. with a BTS member. And it, again, that last collaboration was great. Love this even more. But what I am loving more is that a lot of people are making like edits because RM isn't physically in the music video. They're making edits with like yeah. past visuals. My favorite, though, is the where Megan's cosplaying Sailor Moon and RM is also cosplaying Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, a lot, great. I need a to lot see of that. the other ones are making him like look cool and sexy, but then you have like mm. the, who, who Namjoon really is. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. His goofy side. Yeah. I, I, at the end of the music video, though, you you see her. I forgot what she's saying, but at the very end, someone like taps her on the shoulder, and it's like as RM is disappearing off of the pinball machine. So, could that hand tapping on a shoulder on her shoulder at the end be RM? Stay tuned. <gasps> they should have just put him in the video then if they could have his... Okay, but... Right. Like, but maybe they're hinting at that. Yeah. Oh, maybe another song. Maybe, maybe another BTS member. Maybe mm-hmm. Jungkook another will be collab. on the next one. I bet, I bet they get along. I bet in the studio, they're just like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, great chemistry. All right. Uh, PDNM, now for the best hit replay yes, of the week. Yes, so my hit replay of the week, the best hit replay of the week is... Baekhyun's return after four years, his solo release, Pineapple Slice. It's just a different thing, bro. You say, call me extra sweet. Call me extra sweet. So when I found out that he had technically like that Bombi came out in 2021, I was oh. I was shocked. It feels like because I mean he's been doing like EXO performances and like he had that like League of Legends yeah. collaboration the past few years since he came back from military. So it feels like you know it's not like we haven't seen him since then, but it it is so interesting that after four years. He's talked about this album being like his reintroduction of himself because one, this is his first release after he left SM and made his own label, um, INB100, which he's also label mates there with uh, Exo Schumann and Exo Chen. We, we talked we talked all about when CBX was, was having all that contract dispute. So this is his first release, you know, where he has full directorial creative control and it's really interesting to see that sonically he's doing a lot of like the similar things but this release pineapple slice is more 80s synthy and then like his performance especially in the music video feels like so effortless and groovy in a way that we haven't really seen him before and it just it's so Mm. exciting to see one how excited he is to finally you know start releasing solo music but also how his style is when he has full creative control. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. music video, vampire concept. So, of course, I had to I have ask you about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vampire concept and like the pineapple thing is like a loosely inspired by uh, Wong Kar Wai's Chunking Express, where like 
a, a, like a canned pineapple is like allusion to like a broken heart or something like that. I don't, I don't I've never seen the movie. I don't know. It's very loosely, loosely inspired. But there's more vampire concept in this song than that movie, which I love, of course. Yeah. But what did you guys think? I, I mean, what, before planning this this week's episode, you were saying we're going to do this song. <laughs> For yes. the deep yeah. dive. Yes, and I, it's, it's Baekhyun. <laughs> the top, one of the top <laughs> solo artists in K-pop of his generation. Like, come on. Everything he drops. High quality. Yeah, I, yes. I mean, skipping to the end, like it, it's Chebok. Like it, it is such a good song. Mm. I love it. I love the groove, everything. Um, I love the concept. I love how artsy it, it visually looks. I love the story that it's kind of mm. presenting. Mm-hmm. Um, it might even borderline be the more interesting song <laughs> of, of this oh, week. Wait a minute. But, wait a minute. Uh, any, a, anyway, um, I, the, the question that's keeping me up at night, however, Michaela, mm-hmm. is like, okay, is he a vampire? Is he a space alien? Is he a space vampire? And how does he compare mm. against and hype in and mm. who else? <laughs> Who else in the paranormal teen romance? Mm-hmm. The thing is, K-pop you forgot, P- Peter. He's also a werewolf because Udodong oh, was oh, a wow. werewolf concept. <laughs> so he's oh, a oh, werewolf oh, alien that's vampire. Not a, hey yo, and <laughs> a wolf. Oh yeah, growl and wolf. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I I really enjoyed it as well. Classic Baekhyun, um, quality production, like super high. I felt like one, I mean, I, I, I just have to say this. Mm-hmm. I, I saw similarities to Jungkook standing next to you. Uh, the video, the yeah. fashion, the choreography, some of the settings. But, like in but the, this one's better. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, Sorry, go, I, I, I interrupt you, so I have to go ahead. I, 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 see the, I see them in the same category, and I'm like, ooh, Jungkook kind of did this first in a way, but I'm, I'm still, I still need to watch it more and like learn more of the unique appealing characteristics of this one. But I, I just saw that, that comparison right away. And like the, the Michael Jackson choreography, the outfit. Yeah. So I'm it's just very, like, it's mm. very Michael. And yeah. I, and I feel like maybe that's where you're getting that comparison is it's that, that era of like yeah. that 80s synth funky sound. 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're still in it in in K-pop, K-pop mm-hmm. years. Maybe I'm, I'm done with it. it. I don't know. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so hot though. I I, I would push back on that, Stephanie. I think we've been hearing this sound, this concept for a long ass time. Like, yeah, we have. Okay, so I I'm. I'm but what you mean in, in in K-pop years though? It's really. Like it's really common right now. The past couple of years, two years, I guess, but it doesn't feel cliche mm. or worn out to me. Same, okay. And All I right. think he All executes right. it really well here, and it's a good he song. Does. Mm-hmm. This is a yes. thirteen-year veteran, guys. He's been in the game for a while. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. But mov- moving on, right from a, a we veteran move on to, to the main event. Oh, wait, wait. Before we move on to the main event. Oh, Leave okay. a comment for who had the best oh. hit replay this week. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, wow. Because, you know, I say it's I have the best hit replay, but, you know, we want to hear from you guys, like, and validate mm-hmm. that I was right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the, the main song for this week, we'll be mm-hmm. diving into, I don't even know, yes. Meow? It's Meow. Meow. Meow is um, Meow. There's no V. Okay. <laughs> the pronunciation. I mean, if we want to call them Myov, I guess we could. There's like a nickname. <laughs> like we call what Lalisa, mm-hmm. Lalao, yeah. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Or it, it's like pronouncing the, silent the letters. The mispronunciation becomes a thing. Like it's mm-hmm. supposed to be like right. Yoja Idol, but people always call it G Idol or G Idol uh, instead yeah. of E X I D. People call idol. it Exit, mm-hmm. even though. <laughs> Exit, yeah. but that became their thing. That's true. Even though, like, that was not their official name, but people or, just or unintentionally illit. Where Western fans illit, mm-hmm. illit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we talk about their oh, their man, fan name really quick? Like, glit. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Please, 
<laughs> We're supposed to leave that okay. in the past. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not the past. It's their new <laughs> fandom name, Stephanie. They they change it multiple no, times, and then now the new one is called. They have to change it. They cannot keep that. They cannot. They have to. No, if, I like if it. If even changed, uh, they have to of change. Of course you do. It's better than Blit. Blit? It's, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's actually worse. It's very it's worse. It's closer to the associated word. All right. Mm-hmm. We ha- have not even said I'm sorry. what song I'm sorry. we're doing. Yes. Let's get to it. Yes. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to dive deep and react to Meow's <laughs> Meow. Um, if you want to react along with us and relive this experience, um, you can pull up the meow, meows, meow music video and watch along with us as if we're in the same living room together. Um, so obviously we've seen this music video before. Uh, but and what we're, we're what we're making fun of is that the artist's name in English letters is spelled M-E-O-V-V. And the two V's look like W visually. Yeah. So that's what we're joking about. That's how you can look up the group M-E-O-V-V. Yeah. But it sounds like that's how you also pronounce it. Yeah. So any, anyway, uh, so <laughs> yeah, we've all seen this music video before, um, but uh, th- we're just going to react to it together just so we have kind of like the shared context before we go into the deep dive discussion. All right. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So hit play on your browser as we count down here. In three, two, one, go. Yeah. Okay, so just looking at the gazes here. Meow. Meow. Dominant gazes. They're like looking down at us. We ain't shit. (laughs) That's a lot of supermodel style. Back. Yeah, extras. So many people. Yeah, and that's the most colorful that this music video gets. Oh, like, so all these chic. sets are like very monochrome. Oh, that like, face gray back gray there gray. she made. I love it. She is so pretty. She's my favorite. Kawan, right? And she has a low voice. Sign me up. She's the girl crush. Yeah. Right. Same. Same stuff. I think folks are saying this is. Well, the past one was the main dancer suing. What does it mean to make someone meow? Mm. All right, so already for if we're comparing this to YG style Mm -hmm. videos, I think there's fewer cuts. Oh, yeah, that is right. A lot fewer cuts. Yeah. More gray. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah, we really get a look at them. Because we're on the black label now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, the black label, designer not just white fashion. Like yes, with, the, with Chanel. Chanel. There, designer the fashion, bow. but Tom like Ford, not as gaudy as YG. Mm. Like, look at this. Yeah, this is important. Only the jewelry. Yeah. Actually, now that you mention it, I could probably stand to see even more cuts in settings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, all right, I'm tired yeah, of this shot. Basically. <laughs> I love how they're literally dancing on the table in like a cafeteria. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we don't want to read chase them. We make them meow. Uh-huh. Come up, come up, come up. Giant cat. <laughs> All right, now this reminds me of Blackpink <laughs> right. riding on some big... Is this their oh, any cat. YG, they ride on cars and stuff, yeah. Any mm, YG, they, they have some massive thing they're riding on. Blackpink got a tank, they get a giant cat. And then... Teaching the Yetis. <laughs> Dance move. Exchange. They're like really Ooh, noticing the, the fashion. The yeah, here's the party chorus. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, yep, I knew it. I was like, party chorus is coming. I like this beat, though. I would have liked it in more of a song. I like the dance and the choreography in this a lot more, too. Yeah, me too. Oh, and they've got the the cat. (laughs) Meow. Mm -hmm. Yes, Peter demonstrate. Meow. I'm assuming making somebody meow is a good thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to understand. What does it mean to make someone meow at you? It's not a cat call, is so. it? 
Is it like is it like the barking mm. thing? Is it but we kept with cat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch out, Bay Area. Mm-hmm. No more woofy, and you have to go. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh please! Uh, all right, mm-hmm. all right. But yeah, not as actually so, that much cat imagery that, other than like the giant cat and like the cat in the dancing, right? Uh, choreo. And there, in the very beginning, there's the eye of the cat, the sound of meowing. Mm. But then we don't really see that too much anymore. Yeah. I think the cat's eye is in the background for the first shot, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they had um, the Black Label, I want to say a couple of days ago at, at the time of this recording, they released a, uh, what, what do they call it? Um, is it like a stage performance? I'm trying to look it up right now. The, uh, the showcase on mm. Ikigayo? Or uh, the, the end Showcase, one? yeah. Uh, sorry, hang on, I'm really slow. I'm talking about N Pop Limited yeah. Edition Side mm-hmm. A. Side A. <laughs> anyway, with that, they had um, K pop lingo. They had uh, a cat eye at the beginning and meow. Mm. Of that. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Yes. And then they had uh, eyes above and behind them in the background, as well as like. Oh, I guess it's a mix between, at least in that performance, it's a mix between an eye slash cat eye and like a, a swirling galaxy or universe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. OK, that's what I was thinking of was that that clip has the cat's eye in the back. So in the music video, not much cat imagery at all besides the big yeah. pink one they're riding. Yeah, on. a lot of the, the sets were just like like school scenes, like you have a cafeteria and like a train station and like the tennis court. And then they were on the roof with the mm-hmm. giant star gas station sign in the background. <laughs> but on the on the topic of cat videos, or sorry, cat visuals, I find incredibly uns- unsettling. Is anybody else disturbed by the cat claw image that is their album cover? Because oh no, wait, what what what, what picture should I be looking at? I have the, not seen it's the, the yellow with the cat paw, like the vertical cat in paw, the outline. and like it has, has its claws extended. Oh, that's right, yeah. And like on the claws, you see like tattoos and bedazzlements. But the thing that really bothers me is the fact that one of the claws is pierced. And if you know anything about cats, you know oh. they have so many nerves in their claws. So that I just as a cat oh. as a cat owner, I'm very unsettled by this graphic design. <laughs> It's not based in reality. It, it's to be, you know. I know, but I'm just wondering if I'm alone in this because to me, it's like it's it's a little too much. I didn't even think about that, but you're right. Mm-hmm. All my all my other cat moms in the in the chat, tell me if you also feel this or if I'm just like overthinking it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm like zooming in on it. It does look like it hurts, mm-hmm. and they have like one of those gauges. One of those barbell earrings in yeah, the claw. Which, again, it's 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 a way to kind of like put that cat imagery and like to make it, you know, edgy. But again, I'm just, I'm very unsettled by it. But it looks cool. It looks cool. All right. Shall we dive in? That, yeah. I thought we were diving in. I was oh, talking about sorry. This. Go ahead, Mika. <laughs> kick us off <laughs> into mm-hmm. either the... That's the visual that is top of mind for me. Because that, yeah. that was like the first thing that we saw from their concept before this, this music video came out. True. Okay. True. And but but to be honest, like we don't have a lot of like explanation on like certain things about like what their concept means. I mean, like the Black Label website is actually like under construction, so we can't even like see if there's any like official mm. statement about like what Come on, is going man. on. We only have the like the teasers and like the clips that they have posted on Instagram. They debuted a group, and their website is. De- Come on, man. That's yeah, disappointing. So we don't. We just know that they they've got a cat concept, and they're flashy cool girls <laughs> so what about visuals in the music video what do we see in mm-hmm. uh well like like i said before you know we got a lot of like sc- like school scenes you have like a party scene kind of like basic you know dance it's basically just like a performance video really there's not a lot of like super extreme set changes a lot of muted colors um and i I again, because I don't have any explanation. So like we start in the school and then they like bike to the forest to bring tacos to those yetis or like. I could have stood to see more yetis and more tacos and more forest. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I feel like <laughs> Peter you know, loves but, that yeah. stuff. The WTF right. factor. And then also all the extras that they had at the beginning, like we saw them in the intro and then they just disappear. Yeah, where'd they go? Like, mm-hmm. what, what happened to the story continuity? Mm-hmm. 
here with this music video. Like if they're going to be like very WTF about it, like might not go all WTF like throughout. Go all the way. Because it felt like. It, yeah. Don't be understated in the middle and then WTF at the beginning. and end. Like when we were saying That's earlier true. when we were reacting to it, it felt like they kept going between like two shots, like two or maybe like three scenes, yeah. like three scenes, mm -hmm. like the cafeteria, uh, the top of like whatever building scaffold that they were in. And then. Um, uh, Train well, station. There yeah. was like a hallway with like a silver sign, like picture of a mountain in the background. And then we had a tennis court and that was, oh, and a, a like a, a parking, parking garage or yeah. Yeah. But like with their elevated parking yeah, garage, yeah. gotta That's have what a, meant. not, not a yeah. scaffold, with, but, a, with a car and like a, there's like actually this weird stone with a sword in it in the background. No idea what that's about. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> mm -hmm. symbolism. It felt like they, they overused those scenes. Like maybe they shot like the choreography and maybe all these sets. And mm -hmm. then they're like, oh, shoot, something went wrong with the one with all the extras and the one with the Yetis. So we mm -hmm. have to just like use this limited footage that we've got. I, I don't know. It just felt like. It doesn't feel intentional. It felt like we were given the scraps continuous. of like what was left over on, on the footage. You know, like they it seemed like. And what, what we got was the shots where the members look the most, the, the, where the members look the best. Perhaps. Individually, you see like a face card, you, you see the perfect expression and the jewelry angled the right but, way. Yeah. That seems it's, like the it priority It seemed like to me. there was perhaps more planned and then it was removed for whatever reason. Mm. Mm. Maybe for a good yeah, reason. Yeah, I'm sure they could, they could make like six videos out of the footage they did for yeah. this, captured for this. Yeah, I mean, as far as like okay, who produced, like actually directed this music video, I couldn't find any. I do know that this is a director that the black label uh, usually doesn't work with because the I looked at who they who they oh, usually huh. work with and they didn't have any references to this music video on their site. So unless maybe they're just like slow Choice. on the rollout or I, I have no idea who actually produced this for them. Because mm -hmm. their website okay. is down. The black label. Mm. You know, there, there's... Uh, Debuts are a special moment, you know, that's when you're sending your impression to the world for the first time. And if you're not, you have to be like all hands on deck for that moment. Mm -hmm. And it seems on like it. it was, at least for this group, the company just wasn't ready. Right. Yeah. They, put, they rolled something out before it was ready for production. Oh. Yeah, that's all. That's all I Tech have for visuals. Um, Peter, do you want to go into music then? What about, yeah, the, the fashion, really quick. Um, I, I really was um, taken by the mm -hmm. fashion choices here. I think comparing them to um, somebody like Baby Monster mm -hmm. from YG. Baby Monster wears the bright colors, oversized, um, Kind of closer to 21, clashing bright primary colors, big, like gaudy style hip hop. Whereas the fashion here is almost like the, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the image of what like truly rich people mm. dress like. More, uh, what is it? What happened there? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, more understated, muted tones, whites and beiges and grays that just have a little accent, a peekaboo cut here, the jewelry with a brand name, Chanel, you know, something that you have to look at. And like, if you know, you know, if you're in fashion, you know. All right. So I feel like they're maybe conveying this this chic style to separate from XG uh, the and, YG and attire and, and XG. Yes, exactly. Set themselves apart and even, and even set themselves apart from like new jeans. New jeans is trying to be more, I think girl next door, like yeah, really a plain yeah. white t-shirt and, mm -hmm. and, and jeans, but without the accents or the brands. That's so to funny because that they, they, they did remind status. me of new jeans in the, their hair. Like they don't really have, really have any yeah. like like new jeans debut. They had very natural hair, colors, yes. very long brown black yes. hair. These girls also have maybe they'll have uh -huh. it up in like you know some cute pigtails or like they'll have a bang. Yeah, the it is all like brown black natural colors. 
It's mostly like natural. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to push back against that. No way. No, 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 no. Like some of these like knots and sophisticated like uh, braids that they've got, you would never see that in a, in a, we're just oh, talking about color. the color. Yeah, just right? color, yeah. color wise. Yeah. Color and length. But styling, I think is very different mm, yes, with the yeah, hair. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Especially for, for that one member. Who is it? Um, not, not so in, not in, not in's hair is always in knots and designs and twists. And that seems to match her, her character she plays. So, yeah, I just wanted to make that point about mm-hmm. the, the fashion that they're, they're, they're sending a message here. Like, no, we are different from the, the 21 legacy and we're different from the, where New Jeans is yeah. going to. But like even looking against within the uh, existing YG Black Label portfolio, I would have liked them to see more Jenny, uh, Chanel, um, mm-hmm. Rich, mm. <laughs> upscale <Yeah. laughs> concept, like even more right. so to like more deliberately yeah. differentiate. Because um, I think there's a lane for that. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh, they, totally. they could probably do even more of that. But it, it seemed like they're kind of hedging their bets between like, what was that? We had 21, 22, 23. Or like, are, are we at 24 mm-hmm. right now? Like, th- this feels like the like the fourth mm-hmm. evolution of, of 21 um, is kind of what we're seeing. So there's like a mm-hmm. lot of hedges for that, like uh, peripheral territory of concepts. Technically, they're 25 mm. because you have the Island 2 group. Oh, goodness. As well. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was mm-hmm. YG, huh? Yeah. Wow. All right. Wait, wait, before we get further into the music video. Long live uh, 21. PDM, is there anything else that we need to know about the group as a whole? Anything else on their background or, or bio? Well, uh, you know, uh, all the in- they're very young, like 19, 15 is the age range here. Um, a lot of them come from like either modeling or acting or had some kind of like social following before they joined this group. And had been training mm-hmm. either with YG or the Black Label for at least a few years. So we don't necessarily have like a super serpu or like fresh, maybe only trained for two months rookies in these groups. So, and they're also really supported by Blackpink members. They The, the Blackpink members have like really been supporting this mm. comeback, especially online. And the members themselves in interviews oh, have unused. talked about how they have been like mentoring them through their their pro- this process. So that's been lovely to see. But other than that, like I said, we don't really have that much information about them specifically. They're really like trickling out like little bits with whatever interview or whatever thing that they're doing for promotion so far. Yeah, I, I do want to just give a shout out for Ella, um, fellow Hapa girl, uh, who is uh, German, Korean American. Hey. So shout out to all the Hapas. I've got uh, Jen Somi. Hapas. And are there any other Hapas under Baby Monster? XG, not that I know of. Anyway, Harvey. Yeah, Hoppa's got a shout yeah. out in my book. Harvey and XG. Oh, Harvey's yeah. Hoppa. There you go. There we go. Yeah, and Ella's the the Magne, fifteen years old, and she had four Baby million Jenny. followers on Instagram. <laughs> oh wow! Mm-hmm. But wow. that Instagram is now private. Yeah. So I would put her <laughs> in my group too. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing with the <laughs> to get a yeah with, a with the what is it? The cat's eye documentary on mm-hmm. Netflix. Like they, they talk about that and you know, it's, it's a strategic choice, honestly. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Choose members who already have influence in the yeah, outside And world. frankly, that that's kind of like Why the, not? also the girls professionally speaking, that's how they're leaning and, you know, preparing themselves anyway for public eye and entertainment. Mm-hmm. So, Oh yeah. And we have to, um, did any of y'all see the rumors that, Paley Sock was yes. going to debut in this group. I was seeing that on social who, who, and I was like, nah, y'all Just, don't know what you're uh, talking about. Not that I who's don't know, Bailey? but asking for everyone else who might not know for <laughs> the <laughs> listeners, like on their behalf. Bailey is a prolific, prolific um, hip hop choreographer, mm-hmm. Korean American. I think grew up in Los yeah. Angeles or I think she California. was part of the lab and like, yeah, originally, she, like the lab dance crew, mm-hmm. which like fostered a lot of like really young yep. talent. Yes, yes. Well, she's choreographed for the, the biggest names, Espa, um, Taemin. Jackson Wang. Um, Jackson, yeah. She was in the, the Cruel video mm-hmm. as the co-star. So, yeah, she just has this 
Yeah, well, we'll get to the choreography, but there were there were rumors that I think because Bailey was showing up in in pre debut photos mm-hmm. with the group members, presumably she's like teaching them how to dance. <laughs> but people were like, oh, "She's gonna Bailey's gonna debut!" Yeah. Oh my gosh! Really? Oh my she's, gosh! She's. 20. I was like, "Nah, she, if she knows what's good for her, she's not gonna choose the idol life. She's gonna stay yeah. choreographer." <laughs> she would have been the yeah. what is it, eldest leader um, at twenty mm-hmm. years old, probably twenty. Yeah. So. All right. Shall we talk about the music? Yeah. Okay. So I looked into this and um, I don't know. They're, they're, like, <sighs> I mean, we're all thinking it, but so <laughs> let's just put it out there. You know, it, the it's a Teddy side. Park, um, you know, produced song. And, you mm-hmm. know, Teddy Park, we, we've been talking about it for years now. It feels even cliche mentioning his name. Years. Uh, frankly, at this point, because when we say his name, you kind of already know what it entails at this point. Like, uh, yeah, you know what it so, is. I, traditionally, like you look at a lot of like Blackpink 21 songs, he'll do this thing where he has like, <sighs> I want to call it loop A because ah, it's like, you know, you've got one style here, which he'll tend to use for his verse. And then he'll have another style for, for the chorus that he'll use for chorus one and two. Then you've got the bridge, which is like maybe the same thing, a slightly different breakdown in, in its own. And then you've got the Usually third. short. Yeah, it varies. And then you've got the third uh, YG party chorus, which is like a more energetic version yep. Um, at the song and usually it's like completely different. So if you look at like bang, 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 for example, it's got like more of this like trap drop in, in the first two choruses and then the third party chorus and, and in the bridge, you go, and it, you know, gets high mm-hmm. energy and then like everyone's like jumping at the end of, uh, of the song because it's a party, right? right? And you get that with, um, was it mm-hmm. baby monster batter up? Like, um, you know, it's like attention and like, you yeah. know, it's this like varies. actually, you know, batter up is probably the closest cousin, uh, to this song in, in terms of like structure, vibe, energy, everything. You, you've got these like, very simplistic, I, I would say, uh, instrumental, like where it, there's not a lot happening in the harmony, um, a very stripped down, uh, yeah. rap friendly, uh, percussion. Um, and then all of a sudden mm. you have a song at the end, <laughs> like you have like actual <laughs> totally harmony, like, yeah. And, and a song like where I think like the instrumental plays a heavier role and does more of the heavy lifting. Um, in, in the production, whereas like the rest of that song and batter up, you know, more of the heavy lifting is, is on the vocals, um, and, and on the lyrics. So we get that here in this song. Um, so here, let, I'll see if I can turn up. All right. Tell me if you can hear this. Oh. Get Peter on the keyboard. All right. Can you hear that? Ooh, live yes. performance. Okay. Yes. So um, chord progression is, is pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. Um, if you can play a G minor chord, you know the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, ah. that's a little bit more to it. I, I think like, you Ouch. know, they, they've got, uh, I, I mean, like I, I want to caveat here. Like I'm not a real like music producer or musician or anything. So this Musical is kind of like, just... like my read and like kind of trying to listen by ear you know, what Mm -hmm. I'm hearing. We follow the very simple chord progression of G minor for a while. And then you'll have like an A right before going back to the G minor. Um, That repeats a couple times. And then when they really change it up in both the verses and the chorus, I'll go down to a C minor. (laughs) 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 For, For like one measure, like one bar. And then... Uh, yeah. Back to uh, G minor, and then they'll change things up by like maybe they'll have an inversion on the mm-hmm. um, first chord of, of uh, either the 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 chorus or, or the verse where you you've got a uh, uh, one uh, what is it an a. what what note is this yeah so just 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 uh, one one inversion. Just a higher up inversion mm-hmm. of, of G minor. So, um, mm-hmm. 
and then so that's it it's really boring um but <laughs> what i actually what i really like what, what i can hey. get behind is like where it musically it gets actually interesting is in the pre-chorus the pre-chorus yeah. is like the only interesting part of the song i would argue oh. so it's it's a very simple chord progression you know one bar of each chord uh, but you have your good friend g minor and then you go to f major and then um either uh, a sharp or mm -hmm. b flat major and then closing that loop on uh, E flat major or D sharp major. So together that's, you know, it, it just closes the loop and, and it feels like it, it's advancing towards something. Mm -hmm. uh, and, <laughs> and, then, and then we get this, this and then they just get more, more, more G minors. Yeah. Um, and then in the third party chorus, all it is is just, just G minor. So, yeah, we're not even listening to the the notes at that point. It's just drums and booty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, not even booty, right? But like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, and uh, yeah, I think what's more interesting is the flavor of the instruments that they use. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got like, I, I want to say it's like a really pitched up like 808. Mm -hmm. um, which is kind of like serving both like something of a kick and a bass line um, that is kind of like serving two roles at the, at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it, it has that. And then I, I think there was like a couple um, interesting change ups because like right in the uh, right before you get these, like, I, I don't even know what kind of like percussion it, it's like more like for lack of a better term, like Indian, like Bhangra mm -hmm. inspired mm -hmm. like drums yeah. and beats. You've got that like for, especially for the third party chorus, but you, at the same time, you've got these like very modern synths, like in the, like right before those drops. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I think mm -hmm. you hear it, for example, right at the end of the bridge, I want to say. Yeah. That, that like burn, burn, like that was a very modern synth. Yeah, so then you've got like that more that bonker inspired so percussion much, right after. Now it. that you've isolated that part, I am so reminded of to anyone and Nega I am the best. Yes. Yes, the intro, the beginning to that. Whoa, I never realized that till now. Yeah, Teddy Park is just repeating the same formula that he's had before. Or maybe <laughs> even Boombaya. Boombaya, yeah. Boombaya, yes. But well, Boombaya, that copied like, I am had, the best. But Bumbaya <laughs> had like more interesting stuff happening like in the harmony and like the first two ver like verses and, and first two choruses. So like this one, I don't know. Like the the lyrics are doing the heavy lifting and the in the singing. So I'd love to move on to the singing if you guys are okay with me moving on Please. there. Please, yeah, yeah. So I hang on. I have to play this reference because these. Um, uh, TikTok, Instagram, real content creators. They, there's this really funny reel of mm -hmm. like a bunch of people pretending to be different K-pop labels, like as oh, if they yeah. made a song. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here, we'll, we'll play a clip of that uh, right here. So uh, here is um, JYP, uh, HYBE, um, uh, and YG, SM, and then of course like, Cube. Yeah. As um, all of them together talking about oh, okay. like how they'd make a song. So so here we go. How about we make a song about money? Like, should I make cash? Should I make my drip low? Make me twirl, make me jump, make me drop low, huh? No, 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 we should do something cuter. Like, hey, you, it'll be all right. I know you're hurting. It'll take some time. Do y'all even know the trends? Afrobeat is the way to go. Can I trust you? Ooh, to tell nobody to. Have some twerking? Okay, oh my gosh, I should write this down for the seraphim. How about we mash all these songs together and make one super song, like The Avengers or Super M or Got the B? No, 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 no. We can't do a song without Soyeon. Soyeon? Soyeon? Like this, this, wow. this video came out before this song mm -hmm. and this song uh -oh. is just that. Exactly that. It's like, oh, let me add some zeros, <laughs> comma, 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 let me comma, count comma, comma. Like One it, yen just, dollars. Yeah, it, it's about money. And, and it's like living up to the YG stereotype. It's like, oh, 
same thing. Like Teddy Park song, formula construction, make it about money, you know, have your pretty girl, high fashion Jenny shots, mix it up with like rap. Mm -hmm. But this one was like lacking in the color and the energy and, and the, um, I think really more interesting quick. Want, want to make sure that we highlight, uh, Lisa's song money. Yeah. I saw a lot of, I think, influence in, in the themes, in the swag, in the styling, um, being really inspired by Lisa herself and especially that song. And that brings me to who the second producer of Meow is, uh, Vince, formerly an artist formerly known as Joe Ree. Fun fact, I was like obsessed with Joe Ree's like 2014 little mini single called illustrations with lust mm -hmm. in capital letters so if you like you know 3 a.m sexy r&b go check that out um but yeah Le lisa money is a huge influence on parts of this song same producer too but i feel like the horn did more like the bah, 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 mm -hmm. bah, 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 like that added more to the harmony than what i was getting in this yeah. song honestly yeah, yeah i agree and that wasn't very much, mm. but <laughs> okay. That's it for the music. You were going to say something about the vocals. I mean, they, I, I don't, I, I didn't really think too much about the melody. Um, but yeah. all that stood out to me was just the lyrics. Mm -hmm. I just thought they had strong, strong vocals overall, a nice full vocal tone or delivery. And I heard influences of how how they sing how they pronounce words very similar to like lisa jenny i the greats in their lineage you know <laughs> oh yeah speaking of sorry on the vocals the yeah 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 at the beginning mm -hmm. for some reason if you like listen really closely because i have because i was trying to figure out if i could like deconstruct this and turn it into like a hype energy like edm remix mm. Yeah. So I was like, uh -huh. oh, you know yep. what, what? What parts of the vocals can I use and, and, and DJ remix Peter it? Low. And I was listening to the yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, the audio quality for the yeah, yeah, yes is really bad. Oh. And I think on purpose, right? And mm. I don't, I'm not sure why, but it, it, there's just like a lot of like low quality audio texture to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, you had to <laughs> listen to it in isolation, but like it was interesting. You know, it's not them singing the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's a sample. Clearly, right. Uh -huh. Unless they recorded it, like like they recorded it through like a cassette player, and then they ran it through like you know twelve <laughs> different like audio conversion codecs to like make it sound like really bad, but on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Teddy, come on the show and explain it to us. We would love to have you and hold you accountable for all the party mm -hmm. courses. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm willing to bet like they're, they're not re singing it. When they go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, when they go to the two different, <laughs> obvious, sorry, do not take my singing. No, no, it's great, not, Peter. My it's singing's great. not very good here. <laughs> no, you but hit like, that. Uh, mm, I, I'm sure they, they just took whatever. It's probably a free loop somewhere. Like, I'm willing to bet mm. that's where it came from. They're like, well, Teddy's like, oh, let me look for like, uh, you know, uh, 420 inspired, like, you know, hip hop beats. Wow. And, he, and he found this somewhere. And then oh, he's like, OK, this is great. I'm going to use this for my next Blackpink 21 song. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I need to I'm gonna let me keep this song on ice for like six years and then yep. release it later. Anyway, like so he found that sample. And then like in the beginning, he just had it at one pitch and then he just took the pitch slider and like Ableton and he like moved it up, you know, to whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not the girl singing. I'm pretty sure it, it's not the girl singing. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yes. That must be why their lip sync at the beginning to it was so bad. Yeah. Ha! Huh. All right. Shall we talk a little about Oh, choreo? one last thing. No? Sorry, on the music. I just like how they have, <laughs> because, you know, it's YG and it's all yeah. about money. Of course, they had to have the ka-ching. ka, -ching. ka -ching. <laughs> Sound effect. So... They have that lying around. Tacky, but I, I can get behind tacky stuff like that. Right. Really it's not stuff. YG if it's not tacky and related to money. Okay. All right. But this is one of the le the least tacky releases we have seen from YG. I kind of miss them. So moving on to the dance portion. If right. you want to get a full look at it, make sure to check out their live performance or the NPOP limited edition side A. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, choreographer for this song is the main choreographer is Bailey Salk. 
who she has worked on a number of K-pop songs, including Red Velvet Psycho, Tame and Idea, Espa Savage. Um, and there was also contributions to the choreo from um, Tang Kirin, who's performance director at Black Label, and Todd Williamson, who has worked on uh, Le Seraphim, Fearless and Annie Fragile, you know, XG, Espa, all of that. So like really swaggerific girl crush um, moves and the the hip hop style choreo here is I think classic Bailey style. She makes a lot of use of hands, fingers, gestures, shapes with the hands. Exactly. And so one of the point dances, go Peter, get it. (laughs) One of the point dances is making your hands into paws, making your hands into claws, clawing from side to side. And it really looks to me like a routine that is designed to be like TikTok ready hands close to the face. You can have all of that, all of the like main point stuff can be held in the frame of a a phone screen or a TikTok. And so that's, that's where we're at. I have my feelings on that. Um, The members execute it really well. Each finger is in place, you know, which is a little different, I think from, you know, 21 Blackpink style where you see a variation of how the choreography is executed. There's a little bit of that here, but more, more synchronized. I think like y'all tell me if you agree or not. I think having five members just makes choreography more interesting than four. True. True. And then the, as we were talking about the lyrics being about money, I would say the main point dance that people are going to walk away with is the choreo related to counting the ones, the yens, the dollars, Ones, yens, and dollars, you make the symbols for those currencies with your fingers. So I think you do one finger up for ones, you do like peace signs for yens, for for the Y, and then something for the dollar, I can't catch. But um, you make those symbols and then you either like swipe the money away out of your palm or you bang a fist onto your palm right in front of you for the comma, comma, comma. And... That's fun. I found myself doing it. I found myself copying it. And there's also a a fun dance move where they're petting a cat. They're cradling a cat and they're petting it in their arms. So um, that's what stood out to me about the choreo. It's a classic Bailey routine. It's TikTok ready. Um, There's some fun hand shapes about cats and money. So straightforward. Not one of the most like acrobatic or in my opinion, innovative, um, like dance technique wise, but, um, does the job. Stephanie, what's the move called the one that they're teaching to the Yetis, um, where where you, you, you kick your legs and then you, you try to look that arm up. I recognize that. I really do. And it, it comes from like, you know, black American hip hop, but I, I don't know the name of that move specifically where, yeah, your, your fist is up and you're swinging your knee back and forth and you're having a good time. Um, I also noticed I some like-, like West African moves in the party mm. chorus. So they're, they're, they're picking from social media, I think about, yeah. What, what are some recognizable moves from, especially the black diaspora as is common in K-pop. Which when I when I play this song in the club, which move should I be doing from behind the DJ booth? <laughs> um, I mean, I think you look super cute doing the cat paws and the claws. I was so about to you say gotta that get in on that. Yes, <laughs> Peter. Yes, close to the face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ready for TikTok? Meow meow. I don't know if that translates go. in a club setting, but whatever. Definitely does. <sighs> All right. All right well, that's it for find. choreography. Um, we've covered off on visuals. So uh, lastly, like, Hey, did we, we just, did we discuss message at all? Like, is there a message besides money? Mm. Besides I'm, no, I'm rich. I'm yeah. chic. And I have zombie. Fr- uh, uh, oh, not zombie, I, um, I guess, I mean, we didn't talk about, so t- their name is actually an acronym for my eyes open. <laughs> of course it is. Vide. <laughs> or wide with Vide. two Vs at the front instead of a W. Um, but I have no, I have no explanation for why that is. 
My <laughs> eyes open wide. I, I mean, yeah. like I, you can kind of see the eyes concept right in, in the side A performance with like the big eye behind them. Mm-hmm. And it's like a universe True. of possibilities or a galaxy, I should say. Of oh, possibilities, I didn't think about that. Saying. And like, you know, honestly, my critique of this music video is a lot of them just like staring at the camera <laughs> and just being like, what? Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't um, like that? <laughs> I think that's like the main point, honestly, is their like piercing supermodel yeah. stare. And especially Rawr. if you're thinking about it as a debut, you want people to like get to know what they look like, you know, have moments to understand like, OK, this is what the, what each member is. Or like their vibe. But they all had the same like blank stare. <laughs> like, you know, and like uninteresting like body posing. So that's why I think it's from fashion. I, I think it's uniform. Like from the from but the I would higher like to fashion see more of that then. model thing. Yeah, but like if yeah. it, if it's high fashion, they should go hard in that direction. Then, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with you that they they tried to go in that direction, but then they got scared and they hedged. Ended up more yeah. in the middle. Okay, let's wrap this up. Michaela, go first. Are you Dave Buck or not on this? Okay, well, well, yeah, setting setting up. So now now is the time, guys, where we lock in our final scores, taking into account the concept, the music, the performance, the essence of K-pop. Are we? <laughs> Are we going to say it together? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are yes. we? The okay, time is now. Are we day, day bye, 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 or, or not. not? Or not. Whatever. Okay. okay. I am Daybok. I, 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 I really like that I can see the difference in them. This isn't like a, like, an eyelet versus new jeans thing where they, it's kind of really, really hard to mm. differentiate them between like the other kind of girl groups and their like label category. Like I feel like they're, they are kind of making their own thing. And I'm really happy to see that like Blackpink are there as their mentors and they're working, they're, they're signed on their universal music. So I feel like we're going to see them maybe working with a few different producers in the future. Like having Bailey Salk there teaching them performance is really cool. Like so, I'm I'm Daybok. I'm I'm really excited for this group. Okay, Peter, looking off Peter. in the distance. <laughs> hey, well, no, Stephanie, Stephanie first, and then we'll wrap up with Peter, I guess. Okay, I'll give I'll give it a Daybok. I think I see the vision. I see where they're going. I'm intrigued. I'm really into uh, Gawam and Nadi, the rappers. I was like, ooh, yes, the facials, the low voice. Gets me every time. Charisma. So let's let's see what they got through the years. What about Pita? <laughs> Is it a knot? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's a knot. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's your just... truth, Peter. Yeah, tell us. I probably agree with you. I honestly. was expecting a, a Kiaru, Kiari Pamu Pamu like concept. What? Why? You know, with all the extras in the beginning. And then like oh. it just fell oh, off the face of the I already planet. forgot about them. And then, you know, I was expecting more and like interesting composition, mm-hmm. visuals, mm-hmm. sound. I think we got a hint of that at the end with the party chorus. It is musically. dated. Um, but I, I would have liked more of that. And um, it felt like I was not handed the final cut, truthfully, of, of a music video. It felt mm. like I was given like early cut storyboard and then like, you know, footage was missing here is kind of like, like when you're editing, like you're editing music uh, or when you're doing like video editing and you've got your different layers, yeah, like in each layer being like a different scene where they film something, it felt like they had like, uh, we don't have something for this part of the song. We only have these clips left. Okay, mm. we'll have to use, make do with these. And I felt like I was kind of like handed over like the leftover non-choice ingredients for Ouch. a music video. Um, okay. And I would say the same about the music. 
um, for yeah. the uh, verses and, and choruses and chorus one and chorus two. But it could yeah. grow on me and I could be wrong. Um, and uh, how do you I think could it, put out um, other stuff. How, how does it compare to Batter Up? Batter Up had a really like when I play Batter Up in the club, people only get down to the third party chorus. Mm-hmm. Unless you're like a, a like a K-pop K-pop dancer who knows like all the choreography, yeah. maybe you'll you'll do. Um, so you it's know, this kind of similar chorus. to you, music wise. I, I think similar, yeah. Quality, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But like again, like in the club, people for batter up were only dancing to that that third part yeah. where you're doing the the wheel at the end. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So we might see so that again here. Please report back from the K-pop party scene. I think what it, what's well, you know, what's in vogue right now is, is are all these like K-pop EDM remixes and mashups. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so I think this is ripe for that. It's at a very comfortable 130 beats per minute. Uh huh. Um, so that that that's like you know a good um, you know big room house tempo friendly thing. And then if you want to make it like. Uh, like a melodic future bass or dub dubstep like drop, you can speed Ooh, it up yeah. to like 150. That and would I be think fun. A, a, an accelerated um, vocal works because when you're remixing something, it's better to go faster than slower. Uh, yes, true. W- when you're remixing vocals, so I think you could you could do that with this song, and so we may see get like really interesting remixes uh, with Ooh, this song, forward. which are probably going to be better than right, the original this composition. Is, this is their debut. It's very fresh. It's only been around what, what less than a week. <laughs> yeah. We still got a still got a lot of time to see if if maybe future things from Meow are are Daybok for you, Peter. Like compare this with like XG Shooting Star. You I know? mean, like why would I was you? given for the point of production value? Like yeah, it, like it, with with XG Shooting Star, I I saw like full commitment to like rainbow vomit and like Y2K <laughs> and like it, it was yeah. like all at you, you know, at every stage. And this, I yeah. felt like I was given like not even the uh, color corrected footage. Like it felt mm. like the color correction was even off at, at times. Mm. Like it was very muted. Like maybe they color corrected it to They're be trying muted. To mute. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Trying to come down. Yeah. But it, it to, okay. Right. Like I, I'm sure that was intentional. <laughs> But unfortunately, because of that, it made it look like this is not the final product because mm. I am used to seeing campy, kitschy, over the top, hammy stuff in K-pop. You might be coming out of that, or at least with this label or group. But then I want to see like a more of a deeper commitment to the high fashion Chanel. Yeah. I am too yeah. rich for Baby you. Baby steps, I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm with you, Peter. I agree with you. It's not a like huge day box for me. It's on the border. I I right. I don't know why I keep expecting more out of out yeah. of Teddy and the YG lineage. <laughs> like they keep. Yeah. Okay. But let us know right. what you guys Playing think in the comments below this video or podcast or wherever you're listening slash watching this from. Yeah, oh, they're all just going to say all the reasons why I'm wrong and why I'm such a hater. And <laughs> let, let's stop. Or they Peter could Lowe be agreeing and, with you, Peter. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you can join us on the Slack. You can also chip in for editing costs <laughs> on our Ko-Fi link. Not after I Let like, shit on everything. Know. Like they're going to be like, why? Why would I want to contribute to you if you're just going to hate everything? Because <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we're having the real conversations that are necessary and urgent in this time. That's why the true conversations, mm-hmm. the, the things that no one actually wants to say, but is every, yes. everyone's actually thinking. Boom. Okay. So right. wrapping up, let our listeners know where they can find you on the socials, starting with Peter. DJ Pirillo. You can find me on Instagram at Catchlight27. And Boom. I'm at PDNIM on our K-pop cast Slack. And you can find all of us on the K-pop cast Slack. All right. And if you want to support the show, please consider yeah. donating to our Kofi. Catch you guys all next time. Bye. Bye. Right. Crazy, 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 crazy,
just like crazy. Yeah.